What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Today we are doing the shark honor. They are so cool. And as you can see, there are seven different types of sharks. We're going to be learning about a lot of them. So if you are doing this, uh, well, try if you're trying to earn the shark honor, watching this video. All I gotta do is copy down what's highlighted in yellow. Let's get started. Remember to like and subscribe. On what day of creation week were sharks created? The answer is on day five. What is the study of sharks called? The answer, shark biology. Identify from pic pictures 10 species of sharks. Number one, what's this one? You are correct, it's a basking shark. Number two, what's this one? Correct, a black tip reef shark. Ooh, what about these <laughs> cool creation? It's called a cookie cutter shark. Number four. This might be a little hard to see, but it is a bull shark. Now, what about these uh, cool uh, sharks? I'll give you a hint. They live in the deep. Did you get the answer? You are correct. It's a goblin shark. Number six, what is this shark? It is a great white shark. Number seven, what's this one? It's a hammerhead shark. Number eight, it is a, a spiny dogfish shark. Number nine, well, look at this tail. That's a hint. Number nine is a thrasher shark. Ooh, what about number ten? Number ten is a zebra shark. I know it doesn't look like a zebra. Bear with me, it's a type of shark. I promise you. Okay, this you have to do on your own. Uh, as a reminder, this uh, channel only goes over the written parts uh, of the Pathfinder Honors. So you'll have to do this one on your own. You can pause this video and use this picture as uh, a guide. Moving on. Explain the shark sensory system. Smell, sight, taste, hearing, touch, and electroreception. For smell, Sharks can smell blood from up to around a quarter of a mile away. That's a long distance! Sharks' eyes are ten times more sensitive to light than ours. Can you imagine that? We'd basically be blind! Sharks do have taste buds that, help, that tell them a lot about the... Compo composition of the thing it's tasting. Sharks hear deep, low-pitched sounds the best. That means they got really good hearing. Sharks have well-developed touch receptors located in their skin all over their body. Sharks' uh, electroreceptors are most uh, often used to capture prey by the detection of electro electrical fields generated by the prey. So, if you didn't get the hint, you are only copying down what's highlighted in yellow.
Name the largest member of the shark family in its maximum adult size. It's the whale shark. It's known to get as large as 60 feet. That's about the size of a fully... It weighs about the size uh, of a fully loaded bus, school bus. And to, down here is a dwarf lantern shark. Do you see the difference in the pictures? Wow! Okay, we can skip that. What is the most aggressive shark? It's the great white shark. See this hunk of beauty? I know not everybody is as impressive as impressed with sharks as I am. But don't write mean comments in the chat. Name the predators of the great white shark. Or one of their predators, other great white sharks, and on very rare occasions, orcas. There is actually uh, a type of orca called the shark killing orca. And no, that is not false. There are sightings. Explain the shark breeding habits. Most non-migrating shark species return to the same shallow breeding grounds every year. That means they breed every year. Can you imagine uh, we humans doing that? We had to have uh, uh, babies uh, uh, tenfold. And most parents can't keep up with two. Can you imagine uh, having like 20? 30? Do sharks lay eggs or give live birth? Actually, there are some that give live birth, like the whale shark and great, great white shark, and some lay eggs, like the cat shark. How to be safe in a shark's natural environment? Just copy down as much as you can. And always swim in a group. Don't wander too far from shore. Don't enter the water if bleeding. Because, like we mentioned before, sharks have a really good smell. They can smell blood. And actually taste. Don't go into waters containing sewage. Duh. Sewage attracts bait fishes. And they attract sharks. Don't enter the water if sharks are present. Well, duh. Why would you enter uh, the water with the man-eating sharks? We'll get to that later. Don't splash a lot. Well, obviously, that will get them wild up. And, of course, don't try to touch a shark. Though, because their skin is actually really rough, it feels like sandpaper. Now, Mythbusters. Oh. Or what kinds of myths do people make about sharks? Sharks, sharks are dangerous. That's not the case. 80% of sharks are too uh, small to injure a person. Most live in deep water far from shore and are unlikely to encounter humans. Sharks must keep swimming to breathe. Some do, but some don't. Sharks will eat anything. That's not entirely the case. 
they go on a diet. They only fish and uh, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, and they really do not like the taste of humans. The last myth is sharks are difficult to kill. No, they are not. Uh, if a shark gets caught in a net or a line, they may die from stress or exhaustion. Also, we uh, hurt and kill many more sharks each year than they hurt us. Now, the dangers of sharks. They accidentally get caught in nets. Who's sport fishing for trophies, trophies. And they are caught for food sources. And some even illegally poach them. Okay, we reached the end of the writing part. Things you can do to finish the honor. Watch your documentary about sharks and identify how sharks hurt and benefit humans. Create a display of 10 photos and inform about shark and information about sharks. Include significant information learned in this honor. Or create a game that insists assists others in learning about sharks. You may model the game after popular card or board games. So, I personally would watch a documentary about sharks. So, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. 20% of the money that I get will be going to my church, 40% to my Pathfinder group, 20 for this YouTube channel, and uh, the last 20 for my college fund. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!